cause cancer? Oh, absolutely. Um, it's the, the most famous one was the ECLOG, known as the ECLOG report. And their conclusion, it was carried out by T-Mobile, and their conclusion was that these microwaves can trigger the cancer promoters and cancer initiators in the body. And the industries, one of the industry's other research projects showed that microwaves affected children to the point where children would lose sleep because they can activate the brain. The microwaves can accelerate and activate the brain. And children would lose sleep. And published research in Scientific American Mind actually shows that when children lose sleep, they can become depressed and suicidal uh, very, very quickly. In fact, I can tell you one story, if I may. When I was in South Africa uh, speaking, a teacher of 30 years, uh, and this is on the internet, <clears throat> a teacher of 30 years was the speaker behind me. <clears throat> and he said that in, in South Africa, he said childhood suicides were unknown. Misbehavior to the extent of severe aggression was unknown in South Africa. And he said as soon as the transmitter went up near his school, they started to have psychiatric problems with the children. And he said today, he said, all of my children, all 30 in my class, are now on Ritalin. The other addiction is that there are numerous experiments. I have pages upon pages of experiments where the microwaves going into the brain, they accelerate and, if you like, increase the natural rhythms of the brain. It's called entrainment. <clears throat> they actually accelerate the brain and excite the brain. And we know that a child that uses a cell phone for just two minutes, the brain is accelerated and not back to normal for two hours, around two hours afterwards. And that's just for two minutes. Now, you imagine a child in a playground at a school that spends 20 minutes on the cell phone. The brain is not going to be in a learning state for the rest of that period of the day in the classes. The child is probably going to be hyperactive, misbehave. And general pain. And a general pain, yep. Quoted our government scientist saying how much you can expect to develop a brain tumour compared with the radiation you are getting for an ordinary person. <clears throat> and that's based on what is known as average use. And you'll probably be surprised to learn that average safe use for a mobile phone is considered to be about 20 minutes spread over a whole week. Now, police officers have these for 14 hours a day. So when you start looking at the maths, and my first degree, I specialised in nuclear and atomic physics. Now, when you look at the maths, what the chief government science officer is actually showing is that today we could have as many as 7,000 plus lady and gentleman officers walking around with slow growing tumors. <clears throat> they are not told of the warning of this. They are not told of the dangers. They do not know the risk they are taking. They do not know that there could be 7,000 of them with slow growing tumors, and they will only find this out when they come up to retirement age. The World Health Organization 
were challenged by the European Parliament to make a decision on the health of the world concerning all of this. And in the written reply, which I have from the European Parliament, the World Health Organization said that they will not comment on the effect on adults until 2015. They only started studying children in 2009, last year. So they will not be able to comment on the effect on children, possibly for another 15 to 20 years. So the World Health Organization will say nothing on adults until 2015 and nothing on children probably until 2020, 2025. So there is absolutely no guidance from the WHO. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, February 15th, 2012, and I'm Darko. You can find my website at ggnonline.com or on YouTube. For, as I'm on there, it's DDARCO2012 is my old channel, and my new channel is 2013. Okay, I just came back from another um, freeze-up on my computer here. And you can say, uh, switch over to Linux. Well, I've already gone through that. I've already switched to Windows. And in the last video, um, what happened? Well, I had a nice uh, story to tell um, with a bunch of articles. There was really only, uh, it wasn't even all about police brutality. It was just about the first couple of videos were... Uh, one of them was about, um, uh, what was it, the cops saying that he could just make anything up. And it's not the first time we've heard that. But either way, yeah, my my screen went just black, and then I got the blue screen of death. So, yeah, I was attacked remotely, and it doesn't happen all the time. And my computer is uh, is not that bad. And um, I only seem to have trouble and stuff like that and have my computer slow down and stuff like that. Um, I've had to, only when I'm making my videos. So... And I know you're supposed to make this as a badge of courage, whatever, or something like that, or a badge that I'm being targeted or something like that. But, you know, sometimes it is kind of frustrating um, when you sit here for, like, I've been sitting here since, what, uh, 3 o'clock, and it's now 9.30, and I've been, I've been sitting here, and I've only got one video done. And I spent all this time researching and do, looking for these articles, putting them in a certain order, and then lose them right in front of my face. But there's all sorts of little games to do, right? They can have people um, moving in uh, two houses down from you and whip out their cell phones every time they see you when you walk out to go walk your dog they come scurrying out uh, walking their little dog and snapping uh, little photos and stuff like that yeah it's it's a big big game so it's a big game to them uh, so it's here we're going to start off, start off with this article with the cell phones how mobile uh, phone ringtones make you more stupid it says researchers claim that finding solutions and remembering things is much easier if your mobile phone is on silent because ringtones especially catchy songs strain your brain power so this is total bullshit propaganda and it says here scientists at washington st louis found that uh, the students scored up to 25 percent less on their um, tests after being exposed to ringing mobile phones so they go in there and talk about the ringtones and the special songs but they won't talk about what that doctor that a scientist talked about that actually worked with the Navy in the UK, which was what? It's emitting radiation. And, uh, you know, so the rest of the day, just what, 20 minutes uh, on the cell phone uh, is what? It's going to impact two hours. So most people are on the cell phones for up to a couple hours. So that just for days, they're not going to be able to learn. People who have trouble sleeping twice as likely to suffer memory problems in old age. So, uh, you know, there's many um, issues with um, with this microwave radiation, and one of them is sleeping disorders. It says the effect can be classified as thermal and non-thermal. The thermal effect has been largely studied and refers to the heat that is generated due to the absorption of microwave radiation. Being exposed to the thermal effect could cause fatigue, cataracts, and reduce mental concentration. Many people report symptoms of electromagnetic radiation sickness as who, but what? Oh, because the global government cares about you, right? Uh, they're going to tell you in about uh, 2030 when an entire generation of young women uh, can't have babies and are sterile. And, uh, you know, if they do, their DNA is going to be messed up too. So, but don't worry, you can go to the eugenicists. Um, 
the whatever you want to call it, the um, scientific dictatorship, wherever it's going to be headed out of Switzerland or some place like that for the master race. And then you can go and ask permission uh, to be able to procreate, and they'll do it in a laboratory for you. Then we have this uh, mobile phones to outnumber people by the end of 2012. 10 billion mobile phones connected by 2016, says study. Wireless internet usage also expected to expand significantly. So that's great, right? So we already know that uh, these cell phones, what, they emit radiation. They're used as what? As a tracker. As a tracker, they're actually, you're paying the telecom companies, the telecomplex, uh, to be spied on and to be uh, for your conversations. Even when the phone's turned off, it could be recorded to, to chime in on you. And uh, you're going to be radiated, so you're going to be sterilized. And who knows if all these phones could be used like in the Batman movie. Now, I said everything that I said before is true, right? But the Batman movie, they put that stuff in there to say, oh, well, it's it, uh, you saw that in the movie. Well, I'm just throwing it out there. There's a possibility, right, to use all these cell phones in such a way to where they could actually see through everybody, uh, create like this uh, black and white uh, thermal type imaging where they can see through everybody's house. So are cell phones the newest addiction? Well, yes, they are. It says here, a new study finds social media is more addictive than cigarettes and alcohol and more than cell phones. So they're addicted to cell phones and addicted to social media. And then we have what? Chicago asked not to stifle wireless at summits, so protesters will be flocking to Chicago for the G8 NATO uh, summits armed with smartphones, video cameras, and links to social media sites. They'll be used to strategizing and sharing images of what's happening right in front of our uh, of a police force known for responding with tough tactics. So now uh, this councilman wants to forbid the police department from pulling the plug on electric uh, communications. So... There you go. It's all set up by the, it's all brought to you by them, these phones and these social media sites. And then, so, you know, yeah, they're going to crack down on you. But they're only allowing it because, it, you know, you play into their hands. So they're going to create their order out of your chaos that you're creating. But don't worry, they're going to promote it even more uh, as far as using uh, these cell phones and that landlines to mobile fees to be reduced sooner. So says so here, the UK's Competition Commission, so they must be very free market, has said that the proposed cuts to the cost of landline calls to mobiles should happen more quickly. I've covered, covered this before from January 6, 2012. Europe's biggest free Wi-Fi zone set for London, so they're going to set up the largest free Wi-Fi zone. Don't worry about anybody that's going to be in between, because remember, it can go through walls. It can go through your body. So a couple of um, assistant professors found in a research uh, study that cell phone uh, users would be less likely to talk with strangers in public settings due to what Campbell calls the tele-cocooning effect. That's right, they look at you with a glazed look in their eyes when you just want to say hi, right? And they look at you, you might be a serial killer. Get away from me. Speaking of uh, killers, we have Elisa Bustamante gets life, apologizes for murder. That's right. When the, This is the girl that, uh, after slaying a young neighbor's girl or baby, says what? It was an amazing thrill. So like Whitney Houston with the uh, pharmaceutical drugs and Heath Ledger after a suicide attempt on Labor Day 2007 as she was starting 8th grade, she, uh, she was prescribed the antidepressant Prozac. Her dosage had been increased just two weeks before Elizabeth's death. Switching to diet drinks can help you shed 5% of your body weight in just six months. Is that right? Yeah. But look at this. Daily diet soda tied to higher risk for stroke and heart attack. Why? Well, because it has aspartame. And don't think that uh, high fructose corn syrup is going to be any better. I know most of my viewers understand that. Then we have this dieting. A third of 14 and 15 year old girls regularly skip breakfast in order to lose weight. Well, why? Well, the media. Olsen treated for eating disorder. Remember the Twilight series, Kristen Stewart's skinny body and uh, pro thinspiration. That's what they call it. Then uh, Kate Pippa, the programming icon for young women, the little princess programming, uh, serving as thinspiration for anorexics. Michelle Obama turning fat kids into bullying targets with the Let's Move campaign that won't even actually help the people's health. They'll just make them look healthy, i.e. anorexic. But now the U.S. school children would be subjected to a sack lunch search by government agents. Brains of 40 dead children removed, kept in jars in UK hospitals. And Obama's children's czar backs calls for boys to be allowed to dress as girls at school. The couple finally reveals child's gender five years after birth. Remember in uh, Scandinavia where they're actually banning the word he or she. And a man becomes uh, first in the UK to give birth to baby, born a woman, now he's a mum. Next up, women are now wearing the pants. And this is, all, of course, social engineering by design. 
Believe it or not, Detroit newspaper calls for birth control sterilants to be added to public water drinking supply, just like um, J.P. Holder. Obama's science zone. And as Monsanto is found guilty in France for poisoning, makers of genetically modified seeds say more farmers are evading EPA rules.